Uh, we do have the goal of being in production in 2014, but I also will note here a few months ago we announced a moderated schedule, so we pushed our schedule back. Uh, we still continue to do a lot of work at the mine site and underground, but the mill work, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute, uh, has been postponed for the time being. Um, also, uh, Rio Tinto, as part of its culture, uh, has a zero harm policy. Uh, we are one of the safest mining companies operating in the U.S. today. And at the end of every day, we want our workers to go home safe to their families. And so this is something that we uh, push every day. Again, it's not a priority, it's actually part of our culture and how we operate and do business. Um, we have had three injuries uh, since the last forum. Uh, we had two injuries to hands, to fingers particularly, and we did have an injury to a thigh when one of our uh, workers early in the morning was dark, walked on the back of a truck and ran into the um, hitch that was sticking on the back of the truck, and it caused um, a deep bruise to his thigh. So those are the three injuries since uh, our last form. So what we'd like to do is every, every form, every six months, report what injuries occurred. That's something that the community wanted to know, and community asked for, it, and so we'll be included in our reporting when we do the scorecard. And Chantier will go in a little bit more detail about those injuries. Um, also in this picture, this is our ambulance bay. Uh, we have our own ambulance. So there's Rio Tinto Eagle Mine on the side. Because Rio Tinto considers the Eagle Mine a remote site, uh, we do have our own EMTs and paramedics on duty. Our security personnel uh, double as both. And so when there is an injury, we don't need to wait you know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes for uh, local EMS to come help. We can provide that uh, emergency service right away and actually haul anybody down to um, the hospital with our own ambulance. So again, picture the Audubon Plains of Eagle Project. It's about a 130-acre site, and again, the construction started on the site in 2010. How many people actually have been to the mine site yet? Raise your hands. Was, were some of those visits in the tour <coughs> that was offered to lunch? Did we go on the tour last year? OK, so a few of you did. So to give you a little bit of perspective of where we're at, uh, this is the main entrance to the mine site. We drive in on this road here <coughs> to our uh, main development office. Next to our main development office, we have what we call our mine drives, where the miners can go and change their clothes and take a shower and get into clean clothes. And then what you see right here, in everything that's paved, is what we call the contact area. So in this area, it's actually designed to be um, one large water control facility. So it was first designed to control water, and then, in essence, designed to be a mine after that. So all the water that contacts this area, whether it's water we pump from the underground, whether it's snow or rain, we can actually control and eventually pump into our contact water basins. We hold that water in our contact water basins until we can treat it in the water treatment plant. So, uh, that water at times is recycled and used back in our system again, such as in our, um, our truck wash. We wash vehicles that exit the contact area. Or uh, water that we don't need to recycle, we put back into the ground through what we call our treated water infiltration system. It's a good, all this is is a series of pipes that lay in the ground. It's covered uh, with insulation so it doesn't freeze, and the water trickles back into the ground naturally. Here you see a portal. Uh, this portal goes underground and loops underground underneath the mine site down to the ore body, which actually sits off site. This area of trees here is uh, what the Kewanaw Bay Indian community calls Eagle Rock. This is an area that the Kewanaw Bay Indian community holds sacred, um, which is why we have put a fence actually around this rock and um, uh, are required to protect that rock from any mining activity while we're there. 